Hi folks, welcome to this project demo of Microsoft Academic Search, Graph Search basically. So uh, what you what you can see currently is the new 4J Graph Database, which is a graph database that we have used, and this is the landing page of that. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the demo portion. So the graph is already set up, the database is already made, we can just go ahead and start working. So we start with the paper node. Now, as you can see here, the green ones are paper notes. If you if you just hover over it, you'll see the various properties coming on the bottom. The ID, the rank of the paper ID, paper ID, uh, and uh, the title. Basically, the title comes on the notes itself. So now this is a connected graph. So if you think that uh, when you click on any of these papers, you should just see more papers, which I mean the various properties that are related to this particular paper. So let's just go ahead and click on this. It's a double click. It takes a little more time. Yeah. So well, lots of stuff on the screen right now. So all you can, so whatever you can see currently is, uh, is other nodes that are related to this paper. Now the color of the nodes represent what they are exactly. So as you can see here, the purple or the pink, the purple ones are the references that this paper has made so as you can see if you drag this you can see it says refers to relationship between this paper and the all the other papers okay so yeah there's a lot of stuff going on in the background that's why this is one uh, problem that i have explained in my blog that uh, the craft tb is considerably slow if there are lots of notes on the screen so okay this is again here now the blue ones are basically the keywords that are uh, that are used in this paper so control system dominance hierarchy virtual worlds social interactions are all the keywords that have been referred in this paper and the orange one is the published year if you can just if you could just see that this is the published year relationship out here if only this could work properly Okay, we can skip to that portion right now. So 1998 was the year the paper was published in and since 1998 was was a year in which many of the papers were published in. So we can see that there are three three more papers coming in pointing towards 1998. So these are the other these are other papers which have been published in 1998. As you can see the relationship shows. Now there are multiple papers which have been published in 1998 and the reason you are not seeing all of them because we have limited our number of paper notes right now to 25. So on the screen right now you can see only 25 paper notes. Now the next thing is since this is a connected graph it makes sense only and okay so let me just stop and show you that this particular guy is the author of the paper and it has a weird name because it is a value in our database which connects to the actual name of the author so yeah so now as i was saying see so if it is if this is a connected graph there are a lot of activity that's going on under the hood of this this particular node which means there are a lot more papers which are referring to these keywords to this author to this year right so we can just go ahead and see right from this paper what are what other notes paper notes are connected to this keyword or this author or things like that so let's just go ahead and see what our what other papers have this control system so just double click on this and this might take a little time oh so as I as I said there are lots of papers and here it rewards you also that rendering was limited to 100 of the nodes so this since this is a this is a graph DB, it will just show all the nodes that are connected to this paper. So this is a keyword and these all the green guys are the other papers which are connected to this particular keyword. So this is a POG, this is quite a popular keyword. Now as a recommendation system goes, so uh, if I start from the paper which I started with, I can recommend all these papers to it since they are they have been they they use the same keyword as this guy, but are uh, but we cannot 
just recommend all of these papers in any order so we have a so we have a ranking algorithm which which takes care of the ranking by the relevance of other features of these papers so this was a demonstration of the project i can not go much into details because the graph will just keep getting complicated but this is basically the uh, the uh, the outer picture, the above, the bird, bird, bird's eye view of the craft database in the system that we have built, that it can just represent all these nodes and uh, on a on a single graph, and you can see you can just traverse the graph based on these connections, and this is what we have utilized in order to make our recommendation system. Well, it's a lot more sophisticated and complicated than just uh, recommend recommending the, these few. Uh, notes there there are ranking algorithms going in go, going in the background and uh, and other relevant features that are being considered before just popping the papers on the screen so this is the basic demo of the project goodbye